Okay, let's take a look at this question of the day here. Um, Miss Martha apparently is baking some cookies. Um, so, if you just translate this word problem to see uh, what we need to do, let's take a look. Um, looks like the recipe calls for two-thirds cup of sugar, two-thirds cup of sugar, but she wants to triple the recipe. So what does it mean to triple? Well, to triple something is to have three times as much. I think that all of us could recognize that. But right within that statement, knowing that triple means three times as much, it tells you what math to do. We'll go ahead and take the amount we're doing and we'll multiply by three. So two thirds times three. Now a lot of you guys know that when you're multiplying, if you're doing a fraction times a whole number, you can make the whole number look like a fraction by throwing it over one. Of course, three divided by one is just three, but now it looks like a fraction. Okay, and now if you, the great thing about multiplying fractions is that you can do what's known as cross-reducing. If you have any numbers that have a common factor, and of course 3 and 3 are both divisible by 3, then you can just divide that out. And that's what I'm going to do. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. I'm going to multiply straight across for 2 over 1. And of course that's just 2 divided by 1. When there's a 1 on the bottom of a fraction, it's just a whole number dressed up like a fraction. So I get 2 there. But what I want to show you guys is that this is not the only way to work this problem. What if you forgot everything you ever knew about fractions? I want to look at it another way. Let's try this another way. So I know that a lot of times when we're um, nervous on a test or just it's been a while, we'll forget our um, algorithms. How do I multiply fractions? How am I supposed to know that? Um, three can be rewritten as three over one. All those kind of details we tend to forget. Let's take a look at a way to solve this problem, even if you didn't know anything um, about um, how to multiply fractions. So I just want you to imagine that the only thing we have to work with is a third a cup. Um, in the kitchen, you know, you have a half cup, quarter cup, thirds cups, or a cup itself. So imagine Miss Martha's in the kitchen and she's got a third cup measuring cup that she can use. So this is one third of a cup. Okay, um, now she wants to make a recipe here, then she needs two thirds cup of sugar. That means she's going to have to use her little third cup twice. So this is her usual normal thing to use this little third cup two times so she can have two thirds a cup of sugar. That's what I'm looking at right there. Hope that makes sense to you. Now, if she wanted to triple the recipe, she would have to just do this exact same procedure three times. So here's the first time for the first recipe. Then imagine she did it for the second recipe. And now here we do this one more time, another two thirds cup for the third recipe. Yeah, so if you look at it, a third and a third equal up to two thirds, of course, but there's another way to look at this. Let's look at this problem right here. I have a third a cup, a third a cup, and a third a cup. Three thirds of a cup. Well, if you just put it, uh, uh, if you have a cup and you put in a third and then a third and then another third, you're going to be up to the top. You've just given yourself a whole full one cup. And then again, we see that here. A third, a third, a third will give me a whole full one cup. So it looks like she's putting in two total cups of sugar. So you have a chance to do this even if you forget all your fraction operations.